Now, you're a Dutch film star, and in Blade Runner, which is, uh, I think, isn't it your first film that you've made here? No, I made, uh, I made uh, Nighthawks. Oh, yes, of course. And I made another one, uh, which is called Eureka, but it's not, it's not it's been not released yet. yet. Yeah. Well, you play a character who looks human, but is not, and uh, he was the product of genetic engineering. Could you tell us a little bit more and sort of fill in the audience a little bit about that character? Well, uh, it's the story of the film is that uh, they find six, five, five of this sort of characters uh, walking around and they decide that they don't belong <coughs> uh, in society because they, for some reasons they seem to be dangerous and Harrison Ford is the one who's has to chase us down. And we are designed to live for four years. And then just, you know, it goes bleep and then we stop. And then, uh, but for some reason, we, we should have been, you know, we should have died, but we don't. We haven't. And, um, and, and my character wants, uh, wants to see his maker and ask him for, you know, a few more years because he enjoys life <clears throat> and uh, uh, but Harrison you know finds us well we won't give any more of it away now but that does that does give a, a good rundown on your part forgive me for being personal but you're an extremely handsome man and usually handsome men play heroes why did you choose to play a villain <clears throat> well uh, I don't think this is a villain. I think you, uh, uh, what is wrong with a man who doesn't, I mean, from the point where they start chasing him, he just wants to live a little longer. He hasn't done so much harm. Uh, you don't see him do any harm, uh, and then they start chasing him down. And then, well, he has to fight once in a while because, uh, that's survival. Um, he wants. Uh, uh, all right, but we have a different point of view then. Yes, I think. well, well, because it's true. You you humanized him en um, an enormously, and as a matter of fact, there's almost some. There is some sympathy for him, but of course, I suppose looking at the film, you somehow have to root for the human, for the for the real <coughs> human, because. Um, that's that's just instinctive in us, isn't it? Well, yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. But I'll any. I mean, whatever part I do, I'll give it my best to uh, make it as difficult as possible for you to. Uh, but I don't think in, in those terms. I think a good part is a good part. It doesn't matter w uh, what it is, and uh, it's more or less the American. Um, a market that uh, uses me, uh, let's say, in um, cold-blooded um, villains. Well, this one is my second last one. I thought this one is uh, slightly different, and Eureka, which I did after that, is a love story. So I will avoid getting into, you know, Stereotype. Yes. Yes, I'm uh, glad. And you'd be marvelous in a love story because, uh, you know, it's time to have a new, uh, a new sort of, well, yeah. handsome no, no. leading man well, around. Oh, well. <laughs> you know. It's, uh, I'd, I'd like to do a comedy, either, either a comedy or a sort of adventurous, sort of Errol Flynn story, because I think I can handle that. But well, we, I have to see what is coming now, and uh, I mean, a good script doesn't matter what it is, really. As long as it is a good script, yes. of course, I, yeah, I understand that. But you, but you did. I must tell you that we have the same point of view from uh, your your uh, batty character, because you did uh, we you did make uh, the audience, particularly the women, very sorry that he was uh, about to be terminated and chased around like that. Now Holland is a comparatively small country. I hope it's not only for the women, though. <laughs> well, no, I can't speak no, for the okay. men. No. Sorry. <laughs> um, Holland is a comparatively small country. 
And yet, how big is your film industry? Have you got a big film industry? Well, um, no, of course we don't, because we make, we make about uh, 10 a year. England makes about three, I would say. Belgium makes one every two years. Uh, Germany makes about, I think, 20. Sweden about 10. You know, it's, it's not bad, but uh, we don't speak English. We, um, and that's probably one of the reasons that, uh, I mean, we don't have many good filmmakers as well. I mean, I, because your market is limited, because yes, it is in Dutch. Um, you know, we have a few, and Paul Verhoeven, uh, with whom I did uh, quite a few films, is just one of them that is good. And that's the only reason that we really, you know, get some exposure. And, uh, but I'd like to, uh, I've come this far, and I'm sure I will, you know, uh, I have left Holland, more or less, because it isn't satisfying for me anymore. I want to go on. Of course. You have a lot of great filmers and performers, and the last two years I've been working with them, and it's such a difference, you know, if you, it's just such a difference uh, to see people who, uh, who really know their, their craft well. And that's... Well, it's a lesson. It's, uh, I suppose it comes down a lot to do with the matter of economics, doesn't it? The fact that you have an enormous audience in America and all this money pouring in. Is that it? Uh, yes. It's a language and it's the money. And it's, I mean, America, America is the industry. I mean, it's uh, for the Western world, that is. I don't know about Japan uh, or, you know, Russia. Uh, but America is the big place where it all happens. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I was also absolutely amazed that you have such command of English. It's extraordinary. So you won't have any problem at all in that. So I suppose, just the final question, in growing up in Holland, do you all speak uh, English as a matter of, of course? Uh, well, we, we you must they have. teach three or two, two languages in school, and it, you know, it helps. I mean, all of us speak uh, yeah, a little English. Shame on the rest of us. It's uh, delightful. I really enjoyed talking well, to you. Well, you just, you know, it's just, I mean, we have a lot of unfortunate things, but one of the fortunate, fortunate things is that we, uh, we get taught, uh, you know, a few languages. And good educational system. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. I like talking to you. Thank you. You're welcome.